And here on the local vibe, we're also celebrating Pride Month and Pride Winston-Salem is hosting their annual festival and parade this weekend. There are several events taking place to celebrate and the community is invited to take part. And joining us live now is Jerry Morin, president of Pride Winston-Salem. Great to have you on our show. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. You're very welcome. First, we'd like you to share more about your organization as well as the history that you've had and the impact in the triad. Sure. Uh, Pride Winston-Salem has been around um, in its current organization since 2013. Um, we are celebrating our 10th year, um, give or take a couple years we had to take off because of COVID. Mm -hmm. um, we did cancel, the, cancel our festival a couple years um, because of COVID. Um, we have a board of about 20 people. Um, we have uh, several volunteers. We seek uh, year-round volunteers. We have programming, um, transgender programming that goes on during the year. We're getting ready to rebrand that program. Um, that will be coming out after Pride, uh, after the festival. Um, you know, we've been participating in a, a lot of the, the, the city events this year for Pride Month. Um, and like I said, we've, we've been around, this is our 10th year. Jerry, as you were talking, we were showing some photographs from, from previous parades and festivals. It, it's very yeah. well attended. Can you talk about it, this year's event and what people can look forward to? Sure. When, when I joined the organization, I've been with it since 2013. Um, we went from a little 2,500, um, about 2,500 attendees to we had about 44,000 people last year. Wow. Uh, so it, it, it's grown significantly over the over the years and it's such a great event you know we moved it downtown to the arts district where you know really it, it should be in the arts district but um and our parade has gotten larger and larger every year um this year we're looking almost about a thousand participants that are going to be walking and or riding or some sort of whatever in the parade uh so that grows every year um yeah so we have a we're pretty huge crowd you know from to, to experience that much growth over the years that must provide some challenges for you guys for planning purposes um how, how do you get around that it, it yeah it, it challenges us with volunteers you know it takes a lot of people to manage the event um we we look for volunteers year round just to keep them involved so that when the event rolls around um because it's, it's hard to keep people volunteered all day for the event. So we try to run them through shifts because, you know, they want to have fun too, like everyone else. Sure. So um, we we reach out to some of the, uh, to the um, like Scythe Tech and some of the, the, the schools and um, the, the GSAs and stuff like that to, to help out. But we, we, we usually are able to pull it off with, with a core group of volunteers that have done it for the, the past 10 years. And we usually add about 30 to 40 additional volunteers just for the event. We know you have two parties happening, right? You have the parade and the festival. Tell mm -hmm. us what people um, can expect if they plan to attend. Sure, our events actually start Friday night with our kickoff at the, uh, the Schaffner Inn, the Founders Restaurant. They are hosting mm -hmm. our kickoff party. Um, that is at 7 p.m. and then we roll into the festival which will open at 10 on saturday down on trade street and then our parade is at 11 and it starts on fourth street um staging for the parade starts about at foothills and it goes down to trade street and turns the corner and, and empties right into the festival by, by the millennium center very okay. cool so let me ask you this do you still need volunteers for this year's event or do you just need volunteers to just get involved with pride winston salem we need volunteers for this event, and fortunately, fortunately, when we pick up volunteers for the event, we're able to keep them uh, year round. So yeah, we, we still need volunteers. Um, they can reach out to volunteers at pridews.org, and someone will get right back to them, and we'll set them up with a, a, a shift and a, a shirt to wear, a volunteer shirt to wear for the day, um, and uh, give them a, a, a pretty nice assignment. And I just want to say that this event is rain or shine. I know the, the weather forecast is a little iffy this weekend, but this is rain or shine and we'll, we'll, we'll go forward. 
Yeah, wonderful. And, you know, we certainly wish you the very best of luck for another successful year and turnout, Jerry. Thank you for your time. And for everyone watching at home, the website is on your screen now to follow along to see a full list of those events as well as timespridews.org. And as always, definitely 